Hello everyone, this is Pomo, bringing you part 31 of my Fire Emblem Three Houses Silver Snow Let's Play. Today, no monastery, no... A bit of preparations, of course, uh, but we are going to go directly into the battle because this is how this chapter is structured. The battle against Emperor Edelgar. Confrontation at the chapel. Yeah. Ah, I don't want to kill Edelgar. Now walking the same path. <laughs> I don't know about that. That that is true. That reminds me. Indomitable will. Now that there's no comparison. <laughs> it's literally my favorite playable character versus my least favorite playable character. <laughs> okay, a lot of black. <laughs> now, Cyril, you you one of my boys. Yeah, I mean, we have a big hammer called the Axe of Cambassers. Alright. Okay. So, this is the map. Uh, another recurrent map between routes. Uh, this can be played in Golden Deer, where this warlock has the possibility of being Dorothea. Yeah, and this assassin has the possibility of being Petra. And they both drop door keys, I think. Yeah, so you supposedly can, you know, go through the side th thanks to them or something. I'd say they are, there are two main complications for this map. The first one is the mages. The mages are pretty strong. Pretty strong and they are everywhere. You can't really tank mages in this game unless you're like completely specialized. And for completely specialized units in Tanking magic, you have also these things, the giant demon demonic beasts, which are probably one of the, if not the strongest type of demonic beast you fight like multiple of, you know, apart from bosses or something like that. So yeah, it's not an easy one. Now, this is a dorky, this is a talisman. I mean, we don't really have to go this way. And we don't really have to clear the map at any rate at all, because the, the objective of this map is, yes, defeating Nedelgard. And Nedelgard is actually not that strong. You know, 20 speed, a lot of my units double Nedelgard. 36 protection, 25 resilience is, is not enough at all. I guess I can't snipe her with a mage because she has, she has counterattack, but... Even so, uh, I, I think Violet can probably one wrong her with the Sword of the Creator, uh, thanks to a critical or something like that. Only 18 luck, yeah, that seems very probable. So, Edelgard is not exactly the most threatening boss. So, a strategy I've seen a lot of people do is just, you know, a character like Happy can grab Violet, or Violet in here. Pilot sneaks, kills. I could do that. 
I could do that, but I'm already warning you, I'm taking by myself two side objectives. And they might get complicated, but I think they are worth it. First, I'm going to go into the throne room. I want to see what's in the chest. Uh, because I didn't in Golden Deer or the first time I played. The two times I've played Bird and Wind and the one time I've played Silver Snow before, I haven't entered that chest room. Uh, this talisman, we'll see. Depends on how fast things go that way. And the other thing I want to do is battle Edelgard with Seteth and Flame because I think she has a, a quote. With Seteth, I'm sure. With Flame, I'm not absolutely sure. So yeah, let me do that, my thing and I'll come back. Okay, let's begin the battle. The Aemir. Throne room is tightly locked, but wherever there are locks, there are also key. Alright. Uh, well, first of all, this map design actually allows us to avoid the big things for a little while. And you have Thoron, right? Yeah, I remember correctly. So. Dorothea has actually really been very easy to kill. I didn't repair my battalions. Ah, I say that, but... You're actually a bit out of range. Why did I assume I can normally snipe you? Well, I might be able to with a critical, but this is not as reliable as I thought. First of all, I'm going to prove Balthus's might by doing this, because Balthus cannot get double anymore, because he has quick repost. So if he has more than 50% HP, the enemy will never double and he will double back. So I think those guys are dead. And then... Now Catherine can go here. That's nice, nice. Hmm, now who has a lot of... You probably do. I think you have Sword Breaker, right? Yeah, so you are my best bet to hit. The problem is you don't do enough damage. I don't have Sword Breaker on you, so it's pretty worthless too. I mean, Point Blank Volley actually has a lot of a lot of hit. I can try and go for Banshee. No, that was worthless. Uh, Seteth is not reaching anyone, so there. With the killer bow, no critical, but at least we hit. And now Bailev, who benefits from anyone's... Yeah, that's people he has a support with, the Brave Axe. Okay. I like it, I like it. That's level 42 for Violet. Okay. 32 speed. Yeah, as I said, that's Dublin Edelgar for sure. Dorky, I'm going to send the Goddess Icon. I don't know what the Goddess Icon... I didn't do <laughs> preparations. I just chose my units. That's the big problem. And let's see how the enemy phase goes. Uh... Is the archer on flames range? Flame might get one shot at right now. Oh, you were alive? 
What? Oh, that's a mage, okay. The ballista is to the other side. Never mind then. Quick repose doing work. You notice what has happened. Balthus doubled back a sword master. That's yes, quick repose. More strength. I think Sayete. Ooh. Sayete is a good option, in my opinion. About a brave land. That's not my most precise weapon, but. Well, I don't have to trade, I just have to. Yeah, kill. I could have probably killed even without weakening, but. I hope I could have. I could have killed you and then gone with the Brave Lance and killed you. But then. Ah, there was additional enemies, so... Hmm. Don't mind if I do. And that's with a pillar positioned well enough so that the beast can never get there. So Cyril is safe from the beast, he can only get targeted by this, which is still a lot of damage. Physical attacks, yes. Now this is the great advantage of the mortal Sabbath. Being able to output damage that is the kind you need. You think if I have to choose I will go through the left? This is worth using the sublime creator sword. For sure. Heal. What can you target me? Who is trying to target Marian? Oh, the you? Uh, Twenty-one. Okay, okay. That's fair. I'm going to reduce your damage. Now, Balthus attracts. The two snipers as planned. Okay, this wasn't planned. But thankfully we don't get a gambit. Okay. Aegis, a critical would be nice here. Because this thing has some resistance to it. Mages are moving. Okay, well, accumulated 24 damage, that's very decent. Cyril dodges. Beast fails the attack. That's 24 on Marianne. And no critical, okay. I didn't think you would have so much critical. I remember that said that slack being Oh. Oh, oh I I forgot. An elixir, a hexlock shield for a grand total of eleven resilience. I mean, as long as the... Nah, you're, pro you're probably dead, bro. You're, you're probably dead, the dude. Sorry. The Link Horses. I'm trying to see if Gambits can solve my life there, but first of all, let's take care of the easy stuff. And what is the easy stuff, you? I guess it is. 
No gamb oh, I have a physical gambit now. Thank you. Pressure and lightning, let's go. Boom. Okay. I can cross over the wall, of course. I'm going to break the one in the back. Get out of your range. Going to camp it like this, so I utilize the 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 warlock that it is that is standing behind you. Very good. And now that allows me to go in here with plane and do some good looting. Yes. No double critical, but that's nice damage. I don't think Happy is going to do a lot up, so let's use your gambit. I think this is the best use. Renel Lance is just enough. Hmm. I'm going to be very confident and put myself there. I'm going to deal with you right now. Oh, I actually can easily too. Okay, okay. I thought maybe I don't have enough damage. No, no, I do, I do. Oh, I guess you have Warding Blow. That's why I wasn't doing... I actually have Warding Blow on you. In case you don't know what it is, it gives you plus 6 resistance when initiating combat. It's pretty worthless. But as you can see, there are situations in which it actually helps. Yes, Thunderbrand her. Nice. A door key. That I'm going to drop my elixir for. Have a lot of physics still, after all. And then... I will kill you. Mm, I don't have enough to one-shot you with the War Monsters Strike. I guess I'll just go with the Iron Gold Bench. Okay. I was being too careful. I are you trying to kill the dude with a hero? Tackling this map like Pei Song. Okay, I, this one I'm going to skip. Because after all, we know how it's going to end. Nice. Uh, okay, Ferdinand, you exist. Yeah. I, I guess the hero is here just to give the dude some win. Oh, but the enemies become aggressive because of that. Well, you do nothing at all. But the enemies start moving. So the dude's actually helping us. In the sense that he's getting people out of the door. I think I never considered it that way. One and two. Oh, you do 40 damage? Yes, yes, like that. 40. If I heal you. That's yes enough. So... How about I take care of you? On this side. That's a big window on the back. Where is that? Oh, there. Huh. Interesting. 
I guess that represents... Okay. I, I've always really liked this map uh, visually. Not that I dislike it uh, gameplay-wise. It's just physically, I, I love it. Okay, the, the chests are looking really good and it seems like I might even clean up this map. How much do you do? Okay, yeah. But I have a plan for you, so don't worry. Now I heal you enough that you survive everything with 4 HP, I think. Don't even have to get that close, I can do this. And that's enough. Cyril takes care of this, because I don't need Cyril up there now. Marian can outrange you. Oh, 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 I should start minding you and ignoring you, really. You know what? This is okay. 31%? Yeah, you're not hitting. Oh, shit, the Brave Axe. I haven't even forged it yet. Now, can I do this with Sauron? I might be able to, with a lucky critical. No relation. All right, all right, okay. No, flame kill with the... No, the training lance is not enough. Okay, then the... The Levin Sword. It's more than good enough for me. Because Flame does stay a little bit behind in terms of level consistently. And I'd like to stop that. Oh, why did I use the Brave bugs? A stupid decision. What? Well, we'll fight for the Keyhole Wyvern Company. That's 44. And the Gremory did 40. At least I'm luring the Gremory to me. Okay. Warrior, you do nothing. You do nothing. You do nothing. As long as the do doesn't stand in the range of the mages, he should be. Oh. Oh, you used. No. Why can't I move? You use Banshee. I, I get you now. Okay. You used Banshee. Which reduces my movement. Fuck. These guys are resourceful. I iron shell. To the combo it goes. Oh. Well. I just wanted the chip, but... Oh! Oh well. That, that's a thing. Yeah, that's a thing that can happen. Now, I don't double, but I don't need to. I love Marianne's voice. In Japanese, I love how... I think in English they lost a lot in translation for Marianne because she sounds so much confident post in Japanese. In, in English, she, she, she sounds exactly the same, to be honest. And now, Seteth is going to win this confrontation. And you might say, no, but Seteth is going to die next turn. No, Vantage, baby. Vantage. So Seteth is going to get attacked and counter. It's just that simple. Okay. Oh. Well. Three range you cannot count. <laughs> but it doesn't matter because everything went well. Good, good. Killing the sniper actually really helpful. And let's see what's in the other chest. 
a Cadmus Shield. Now I love these ones because zero with three protection. Even if protection for armor effectiveness is pretty worthless, uh, that's still a good shield. Tiny lands, don't get the critical. I survive it, but don't get it. You don't even get the hit, okay. Now that's a Gremory, so I kind of want the Gremory to come. Do I have uh, I don't have healing. I have healing focus. I don't give healing to the units that have healing focus because why would I? Do I want to lure you? A bit too soon. Oh, I can, I can heal the dude? Oh, a mage is on your range. Yeah, then I'm going to heal the dude. So that maybe he survives this turn. Yeah, because that's that's danger right there. Oh, the dude. You're, you're done. Oh, and the gambit. And you're not dodging because you never dodge anything. Can you kill? Yeah, okay. Weaken the monster and that will do me a good service and see you in hell. Okay, you actually killed... Who did you kill? Oh, you one shot at the immortal... No, you killed a, a Gremory. Alright. That's that's not bad at all. Oh. Why did you stop there? Is Edelgard going to say something? Because she normally says something whenever you enter the throne room. I, I think... I think something happened there. Like, I triggered something. That's why the game is slowed down. Silver Combat. Ah... Uh, Actually, a really good thing to get. About I, yeah, I'm I'm liking this idea. You see, I put myself here with the iron gauntlets. I'm going to heal you, but stand here to this side of the wall, and I'm going to put set it here. Yeah, set it with the iron sword. Yeah, I triggered Edelgard's conversation and I think we might get the enemy reinforcement. Is there anyone who sets foot in the throne room? Okay, the enemies are becoming aggressive to the throne room. Well... There he goes. That's the Dugon. Okay, so if you enter the throne room, the enemies become aggressive from the sides. I didn't remember that. So I'm, and now I'm kind of glad I tackled the chapter this way. And we do get reinforcements. Okay, okay. I have... Blaze. And it's not doing a lot of damage. But the armor breaking is really good. And if these things have a, a defect compared to other beasts, is that they have the lowest fucking charm ever. Ever. So you can really deal with them in any way you want. I can this with Fimbulbeter. And uh... oh, I did have an area one with absorption. Okay, sounds good to me. 
It's better to have set it than have to do the magical damage after. No, please finish. Yeah. And now is when Happy can do massive damage. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that's good. That's good. How about for starters, you take an assault troop to the face and shut up. Yeah, you didn't like it. You know, honestly, I might want to face you like normally. I'm going to brave shield you because I don't want to lose more health. Good old brave sword. Next best thing to a thunderbrand, more magic too. And I'm going to trade you the Sublime Creator Sword. And yes, go here. Okay, this is a side with a barrier, so I'm breaking it a little bit more. Enemy is completely ignoring this side. Which is just beneficial for me. Death. As the name implies, you die. Level 40 for happy. Double speed. Because 20 speed means not getting a slowdown. It's still. It's still like a slower than Alois. I like that you can do this while keeping out of range. No critical. That's good enough to finish you with. Who wants it more? I think Seth does, honestly. Gone. Warping. Okay, you can block the reinforcements by standing in the stairwells. That I didn't know. I only have one use. Crap. Okay, th it doesn't matter. Better yet, I give the kill to Alois. Who's... And this is blocked, I think. No, I think I just couldn't traverse it. I'm going to, like, cross you with Plane and Catherine, and I'm going to kill the Mortal Seven with Violet. Oh, I actually push you. That's actually... I, I think it shouldn't matter. Because I can get away with Kanto now, right? 8 movement... yeah. I can go there. Not up, because that's where Flane is going to lose lure from. And that... That breaks the barrier. Okay, so that's the last monster prepared to die. More Umbra still. One for Balthus. Biggest mistake in your life. I'm going to stand there, just in case. I will just wait. Okay, now how do I deal with this?
first of all, dealing with you is starting to be like an obligation. So I will start with Catherine. I think it's the character that homing fireballs. Did you see that animation? It went like strangely up. Okay, now do I... How much do I do with the Luin frozen lands? A lot, but not enough to kill. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to warp Seth. Because after all, I wanted to get the Seth quote, so that's only logic. Nice. Now I can take the. I can take the kill with plane. Well, the kill. The bar, I mean. Actually, just a simple lemon sword is enough. And then I'll have to rely on Violet a little bit. Whoa, 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 whoa. I almost finished there. Okay, 52 critical. You, you better get one. Really? Okay. How about... Sublime Heaven? That's 72 critical. Better. Two hundred and nineteen a pop, and you're dead. I might even... Do I have a healer? No. If I have basic? I would stand in the range of the warrior, but... Go there. And get closer, yeah. I might clear this map. Hmm, are, are you defending Edelgarth or what? Clever tactic. I never saw this conversation, so I guess we got something out of doing it this way. Now, Marian, I don't think is going to reach in time, so you can just heal. Thunderbrand. Let's go! For strength and speed. So. Oh. Uh, I have a free space. Oh, trade me that... Brave Sword? Why do you have a Brave Sword? Oh, from the previous one, from the previous one. I will even recover you, just for fun. And now... Oh, you have a vulnerary? <laughs> Not an elixir. Now, one of my favorite... Probably my favorite theme in the game. Doesn't even matter if it fails, just... I just want to see the quote. Ah, indomitable will. A child of the goddess, you must not be allowed power over the people. She dodges. I will stay here. For the boost, because I think they all boost each other in might.
I want something that's not... I think everything I have is high critical. I want a low possibility of killing, okay? I also want the set of quote 100%. Yeah, I'm not going to risk it. I will attack with set of first. You know what? Everyone has seen Violet kill. So Violet is not going to do anything. It's going to be set of. There's a possibility of losing. If her counter kills me. No quote. Unexpected. A bit of a disappointing ending, but okay. So you do know flame... Is a child of the goddess, but you don't know Seteth is, and Seteth has nothing to say to you. Where? Well, that's, that's the only part I don't like about this scene, that that's so clear obsession with but this ending is rough. And Violet was even standing in the front. Confrontation at the palace. Seth was the MVP. I like it. Okay. We do get something. Real general asked me to deliver this to my instructor. Oh. It's true. Even after dying, he will persist. Destroy the threat that slithers in dark. Instead of children of the goddess and the people of the world, and they are beating their time until they can attack we were the ones to destroy Port Mercius. They cannot say she's in good health. The Archbishop resides in a secret chamber in the Imperial Palace. Yeah, well, okay, obligation as the victors, blah, blah, blah. Mass speak with Freya. This was later in the dark. Must kill every last one of them. Monica-san and Tomashi-san are 
Man, I I love this one. Love this scene. And you can notice uh, Reyes ears in this one. あなた方も力を貸してくれたのですね。この子を支え、私を救い出してくれたこと感謝します。レア、本当に本当に無事でよかった。こうしてアンバルで最後に。Reminded of the past of reuniting in Ember. Just in another of our kind. We're starting to normalize having this conversation. Tell you something, Ray. We have received incredible news. I'm, for us to stop hiding the truth about the goddess. Tell the professor everything about these vile people. Much of the things only you know. Now? Now, like, immediately now? Okay, I've uh, added that truth. The wielder of the sword of the great. He says he was originally the leader of a group of bandits, plundered the holy tomb, and stole the remains of the progenitor god. How did he get the sword of a creator? The legend is false. No, how Nemesis obtained the sword or why he appeared in Sanado, but you can guess what the sword is. On their corpses. He gained even more power and brought war to follow. And I guess the crest itself and the composition of the sword is what she wonders about. And so someone was collaborating with Nemesis. And that someone is those who slither in the dark. エーデルガルトさんは己の目的のために一時的とはいえ、先生、シャンバラに行き、闇に蠢く者たちを止めましょう。ダムトパーティー。血塗られた歴史を赤き谷の惨劇を。レッカニオントライディ。オッケー。
dividing is always the <laughs> the worst option in Fire Emblem. There's something about it. There's there's something to be said about it, yeah. Because it, it feels like, you know, more historical and like you really earn that way, even if it's a bit slower. So, yeah. Uh, had a great time. I think I'm going to leave it at that, though. This has been Pomum. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.